recognize Mrs. Kate Amadi for the good work she has done to the community. It is my real privilege to present Mrs. Amadi to my honorable president to accept the award. Unfortunately, Mr. Amadi has other programs she has to run to. She left earlier than now. But still, notwithstanding, we have to honor her and recognize her for the good work she has been doing to the community. Over to my president. Thank you. Thank you, my director. Mikere um, Ailo, who will be accepting this gift on behalf of Ms. Kate Amadi for her outstanding job and dedication to helping battered women. This award is given by the number of ladies. It's the first such award that we are giving them. And we're going to be doing this annually. So if you do have people who are making the way to the society concerning awareness, um, you are, you know, helping to cure the society of violence or reduce the incidences of violence in our communities. Please feel free to reach out to us. We're going to be, if you want to leave, some of um, the, the people that invited you would want your addresses or phone number. You can always reach us, we can always reach you for future events. So we thank you for coming. And this is for Ms. Kate Amani. Thank you. A round of applause, please. All right, my sister Vicky Bokoye, Virgin. I want to hear Vicky with her Virgin. Yes, my sister Virgin, uh, you are introducing Mr. Thompson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Emerald ladies, chiefs, kings, and all that of men. I greet you. I am very, very proud and honored to introduce one of the honorees. Why? I haven't really known him for such a long time, but for short a time I have known him. He has impressed me by his virtues, his character, his involvement in different communities, especially he is an advocate for women, especially women that have no voices. Since this our uh, Emerald object is to reach out for the women that, that are violated, women that have no voices, women have been injured, injured physically, morally, emotionally, and otherwise. And I believe that he's one of the candidates. Because he's somebody that we can reach out that will help us to go beyond what we've already known. I am going to make this speech very short. Because if I start to tell you about the honorary that I have introduced, it will take a long time. Among all many honorees, people that were um, named. My own person was among the selected. This man is highly educated, if I haven't, if I haven't mentioned. He's highly, he's an educator, he's a graduate, and he's an engineer. He has been working with the engineering company for so many years. He is a computer wizard. So if we need him in all kinds of aspects of emerald growth. Not to waste any more time, I am going to introduce a person I'm very proud to bring here as an honoree, Mr. Martin Thompson. At least we are sure that he's not going to vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my brother. So, the president, over to you for our
given gift and a God-given talent and they should really and truly use it to the betterment of humanity. It's very, very, very important. I remember as a young boy in Jamaica growing up with my mother and father and when my mother had to go out to visit people in the nursing homes or what have you, she would drag me along, and of course as a young boy, you didn't want to go to these places. You want to go play soccer, and you want to go and hang out with all your friends and all that kind of stuff there. But you realize, as you get older, the importance of spending time with those who need your time. So, give back to your community. You don't have to be famous, you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a lawyer. You don't have to be an engineer. You don't have to be a specific type of a business person. Just give of yourself. It's extremely important to give of yourself and give back to your community. And I thank you very much for this honor. I will treasure it. And may God bless you ladies, the Emerald Ladies. Thank you very much. A round of applause to our brother, Martin Thompson. I am also a Jamaican because I used to live on Jamaica Avenue. <laughs> so, yeah, I used to live on Jamaica Avenue. That's nice. All right, uh, my own sister, Pris. Princess Mabobi, where are you? For the raffle. Princess Mabobi and Lolo also, dear man. Place for the rifle while the president get ready for the swearing in and uh, issuing certificates. I bought some graphs. Princess, I can help you. So while they are getting the rifle ready and uh, the president getting ready for the swearing in, DJ, please give me an interlude of music or just. Put up some. Oh, 
What's the number? What's the number? Three zero eight. Sold by Sold by The Loma Umadi.
thank you, thank you, thank you. Over to my president. Emerald ladies. Are there, are there Emerald ladies here? Yes, Oh, you're not answering. Emerald ladies. Emerald ladies. Emerald ladies, wake up. Please, um, you, have, you have certificates here to pick up. And uh, you pick your certificates as well as uh, your membership certificates, as well as the, uh, the brochure. Stella, Stella, can, can you bring the brochure, please? Don't give anybody the brochure, please. Bring it over here. Come and take your certificates. Um, Let's go, 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 Let's <laughs> Need to get that. Yeah, I know.
go.
go for